Time to dine is a new way for people to dine out. You open an app, find the nearest restaurant close to you, you select your food, you order your food, you pay for your food. As soon as you arrive to the restaurant, the food is ready for you. And then at the end, after you finish eating, instead of waiting for your bill, you already have it already done in advance, so you can just get along with your own day, you know? I went to Harriet Watt Uni for a five-year degree and a master's in software engineering and saw an e-placement that there was a place for time to dine, which was to develop the POS and the admin dashboards. When someone requests an order, it goes to like their admin dashboard. So it was like kind of the web POS version of that. We needed more manpower for the company to grow. I'm more happier to work with uh, Jamie than working with the senior program. I know a newer programmer, instead of, oh, I know this way and I'm doing my way, it is open to suggestions. I allow him to start and even giving more courses to study. So when he thought he just finishing study, I say, here's more courses, please watch, learn, and then uh, once you understand them, start implementing them into the code, please. So it was a continued growth for him, you know. It was definitely something that was a massive learning curve. Like you're basically learning something every single day. And I feel like UJS and stuff that I've learned here is going to be pretty important in, in the future. And I've wanted to be doing software engineering since I was in basically first or second year. So it was really good to kind of get that experience and know that this is the kind of environment that I'll be in for most of my life. NHS Highland covers the whole of the north of Scotland as well as the Argyll and Butte area. Our eHealth department services all staff for their IT needs. So um, I'm a student from Robert Gordon's University, just finished my third year of business information technology. Um, I decided that it would be a good time for me to undertake a year-long placement. So yeah, before starting this placement, I really only had like the theoretical knowledge. I hadn't had the opportunity to face any real life problems and apply that knowledge to solve a problem. First of all, he was with the business intelligence team learning um, the standards and the protocols for developing reports and later on used that knowledge to go and sit with the performance and planning team. So uh, I created like the information reporting catalogue which was uh, made use of a three text uh, search algorithm. And this three text search algorithm basically stored all of the metadata held on reports across NHS Highland. And it made those reports searchable by keywords and phrases for a staff within the hospital who needed access to information to make these decisions. He was able to interpret the requirements very well. I think it was beneficial for you learning about PRINCE2 methodology which we use for projects. Yeah, it's great because I produce documents for this project which I'll be then be able to use once I go back and do my honours project for my final year. University teaches us like the theoretical side of things but not until we go out and work in the workplace can we apply that theoretical knowledge in a practical and like meaningful way to solve like real life problems to come up with like long term solutions. Um, so for me that really helped to build my confidence and I'll take that back to university with me and for this early part of my working life that has been valuable. Yeah, my server guy was founded in 2014. We support creative agencies uh, with their website portfolio. So we do development, monitoring and, um, and hosting. I'm about to go into my fourth year at Edinburgh Napier University. And over the summer I decided I wanted some real world experience and that's when uh, I applied for my server guy. That's when the exciting stuff. <laughs> So Matthew is our front-end developer, he's the guy we go to with any sort of CSS, JavaScript, or any sort of graphic designs. Matthew hit the ground running basically, so first I gave him small exercises and assignments to, to work on internal websites, but already within a, two months, you know, he was ready to work on customer websites. I liked how it was a small company because I felt it was a lot more hands-on and personal, if that makes sense. I felt my server guy was a good fit for me. Because like you get to work with real clients, real hands-on experience, using your knowledge and putting it into real life solutions and situations. The experience of working in the real world, it has given you more confidence in, you know, I can actually build websites, or I can actually learn as I go and build relationships with clients and stuff when I would not have thought I could do that beforehand. And it's just given me more of an open mind of like, I could do this in the future, where can I go sort of thing. So it's been a real confidence boost.